Jan Chrysostom Pasik in the Battle of Lachoix, a Julius Cossack painting. The Russo-Polish War of 1654 A Circumflex 1667, also called the Teen Years War, First Northern War, or the War for Ukraine, was a major conflict between Tsardom of Russia and the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Between 1655 and 1660, the Second Northern War was also fought in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, thus this period became known in Poland as the Deluge. The Commonwealth initially suffered defeats, but regained its ground, and won most of the battles. However its plundered economy was not able to fund the long conflict. Facing internal crisis and civil war, Poland was forced to sign a truce. The war ended with significant Russian territorial gains, and marked the beginning of the rise of Russia as a great power in Eastern Europe. The conflict was triggered by the Khmelnytsky Rebellion of Zaporozhian Cossacks against the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. The Cossack leader, Bohdan Khmelnytsky, derived his main foreign support from Alexis of Russia, and promised his allegiance in recompense. Although the Zemsky Sober of 1651 was poised to accept the Cossacks into the Moscow sphere of influence, and to enter the war against Poland-Lithuania on their side. The Tsar waited until 1653, when a new popular assembly eventually authorized the protectorate of Ukraine with Tsardom of Russia. After the Cossacks ratified this agreement at the Pereyaslav Council the Russo-Polish War became inevitable. In July 1654 the Russian army of 41,000 captured the border forts of Bilai and Rogobas and laid siege to Smolensk. The Russian position at Smolensk was in danger as long as great Lithuanian hetman, Prince Janus Rudziwiore, with a 10,000-man garrison, held Orsha, slightly to the west. Chukaski took Orsha, forces under his command, led by Nyas Yuri Bautinsky, forced Radziwill to retreat in the Battle of Shklov, fought near Shklov on August 12. Radziwill was again defeated 12 days later at the Battle of Shapelovich. After a three-month siege, Smolensk the main object of the previous Russo-Polish war fell to the Russians on 23 September. In the meantime, Prince Alexei Trubetskoy led the southern flank of the Russian army from Bryansk to Ukraine. The territory between the Dnieper and Berezina was overrun quickly, with Trubetskoy taking Mstislav and Ruslav and his Ukrainian allies capturing Homel. On the northern flank, V.B. Sheremetev set out from Skov, and seized the Lithuanian cities of Neville, Politsk, and Vitebsk. Thereupon the Tsar's troops swarmed over Polish Livonia, and firmly established themselves in Ludza and Rizetna. Simultaneously, the combined forces of Khmelnytsky and the Russian Bobutalin struck against Valinia. Despite many disagreements between the commanders, they took hold of Ostrog and Rovno by the end of the year. In the winter and spring of 1655, Radziwill launched a counter-offensive in Belarus, recapturing Orsha and besieging Mojilyev. This siege continued for three months with no conclusion. In January, Sheremetev and Khmelnytsky were defeated at the Battle of Okhmatyv, while a second Polish army crushed a Russian-Ukrainian contingent Jashkov. Alarmed by these reverses, the Tsar hastened from Moscow and at his instigation a massive offensive was launched. The Lithuanian forces offered little effective resistance, and surrendered Minsk to the Cossacks and Chukaski on 3 July. Vilnius, the capital of the Great Duchy of Lithuania, was taken by the Russians on 31 July. This success was followed up by the conquest of Corners and Rodno in August. Elsewhere, Prince Volkonsky sailed from Kiev up the Dnieper and the Pripyat routing the Lithuanians and capturing Pinsk on his way. Trubetskoy's unit overran Slonim and Kletsk, while Sheremetev managed little beyond seizing Velas on June the 17th. A Lithuanian garrison still resisted the Cossacks' siege in Steribikov, when Khmelnytsky and Putilin were already active in Galicia. They attacked the Polish city of LWA Tilda Superscript 3W in September and entered Lublin after Paul Jensen's APE has defeat near Brest.